Okay, so I wanted to walk through the deep linking feature that we've just added to MediaBox. MediaBox is a list application where you can have the list of movies, books, TV shows, and music that you wanna catch up on at some time in the future. So once you finish something that you really enjoyed, you can rate it, you know, poor, good, great, classic. And then what you might wanna do with that is actually share it out to people so that they can enjoy the movie as well. So let's go ahead and add a brand new uh, movie so we can just show how that works. So the thing is, is if I go out and I want to share this Edge of Tomorrow movie, it's great if you know people can have the best experience possible depending on which device they're on. So let's say they're on an iOS device where they already have MediaBox installed, which ideally is what I would love, is that all, all the people you share with also have MediaBox. Then why wouldn't we just open Edge of Tomorrow directly in the iOS application? That would probably be the best experience. However, if they're on their desktop and uh, all they have access to is a web browser, then they should probably go to the web browser to take a look at the details on Edge of Tomorrow. So let me just show how that works. So here I am, the share person, and I pull up the tweet sheet, and it's got some pre-populated text, and then this magical URL that kind of does all the power. And uh, I'll talk a little bit about that um, when I start talking about this service called DeepLink. Um, but suffice to say, this is the, this is the URL that actually has... Uh, enough of the logic embedded in it that makes sure that the user goes to the right place depending on what device they're on. So let's go ahead and post that to Twitter. Ah yes, that's because I'm posting the exact same thing that I posted some time ago. So I'll just change the text a little bit. I'll post that out. That one went successfully. So that's great. So now let's pull up Twitter. You can see I've tried this a few times recently. So here's the one seven seconds ago that I just posted, Edge of Tomorrow. And if I tap this link and I'm on the desktop, of course, it's gonna take me right to this page. Now what's nice here is this is a web application that, uh, that we built as part of MediaBox. It's really simple and all it does is just display the media um, as, as we intend you to see it. And then the other thing, of course, that's important for us is that we're promoting the use of MediaBox that you can download it from the App Store. So if you tap there, you'll be taken straight to the App Store. You can download the application, or maybe you want to tap here and, and see more details about this movie on iTunes. Maybe you want to go and buy it. So that's one experience. Now let's say, for example, instead of, uh, let's just delete that. Let's say I'm someone who wants to check this out on their device. So let's say I've brought up Twitter, and I'll bring up Andrew SF test his Twitter feed. And once again, we go to that list of tweets and I tap on the same URL. So it's the exact same URL, except the experience this time will be different. We'll be taken straight over and this little animation happened, but the idea is that I was taken right into the application and Edge of Tomorrow was brought up straight for me to take a look at. So here I can kind of see the general gist of the movie. Of course, if I was on the device, I'd be able to, uh, to bring up iTunes, see a little bit more detail there, and then I can click Add to List to persist it to my list. So you can kind of see that, that depending on which device I was on, I had two different experiences and, and kind of optimized for, for the device. So if we head back over to Deep Link Me, um, I can just show quickly how this, how this works. Basically I have uh, the service set up to use uh, my MediaBox app. And in here I have two different options that the uh, link will resolve to. It'll either resolve to the MediaBox app Heroku app, which is of course, that's uh, this guy here, MediaBox Heroku app. So it'll either take me there, or if the application is installed, then it'll use this URL to bounce right over to the application and launch it. So that seems to work pretty well. And then if I go back up here, you can see that I've got translation rules. And basically this is just a way of mapping the query string from the web template, which is iTunes ID with an ID and then a country with a code. And I can map that to a template that's slightly different for the application. So I didn't want this big fancy uh, query string on my, uh, for my application to parse. So I just simplified it into ID slash code. And that was just a really easy way to parse it from the application when I, uh, when I get launched. And again, Deep Link just determines if the application's on the device, I'll send you to the application. If it's not, then I'll send you to the web browser. So pretty easy to set up and seems to give a pretty good experience um, depending on, on which device you're on. Hope that was useful. Thanks.